I took the decision to continue over the ridge and I'm gonna ski down on the end of the ridge on a south facing collar. So nice, it's super, super epic. I got a bit when I looked up on the ridge, I was slightly a bit worried that it would be a bit more exposed, but it's actually super mellow. From uh, Tupagrö, currently on my way down to the hotel. Been hanging out here a couple of evenings, trying to see if there's anybody who wants to ski with me and uh, get in contact with this girl who we're keen on doing this uh, ridge walk. So I'm gonna meet her now. I'm gonna team up and then we're gonna go up on a peak called Sture Dyrakstin over the ridge, down in the Rings Valley, and uh, probably back down to the hotel or up on uh, the big Rings Horn. Drinks tin. Yeah, we'll see how it turns out. Walking up towards the ice tin, making good progress. Warm, a bit tired today as well, but I think uh, we just gotta maintain the pace and we should be on the first summit in uh, a couple hours. And then we'll see how the ridge looks like. Um, how the snow is and all that jazz. She's long gone. Oh, she was just super stressed and uh, felt she had a bad time. So she just pushed on. No chill. And she's just whew, through the douches. Oh. Try to keep up with her pace, but no way, hombre. Oh well, she did way too well to see her or something. That uh, feeling, yeah, 100% good, that's for sure. It's been uh, some quite long days lately but uh, I think she's standing on the summit now so that means I should be quite close and uh, then we'll reassess what we'll do. to continue over the ridge and I'm gonna ski down on the end of the ridge on a south facing collar. So nice, it's super, super epic. I got a bit when I looked up on the ridge I was slightly a bit worried that it would be a bit more exposed but it's actually super mellow. down this nice shoot, bumpy, slushy, but it's pretty fun. My thought earlier today was that we're gonna turn around here and slide back to the hotel, but uh, I think we're gonna go up to Dating's Tin. So we got a big day ahead. Uh, 
uh, summit push to the summit now. Got a boot pack. And a small little section towards the top. It's been a pretty sick day. You know, two, three mountains up and down. We're talking almost 2,000 vertical meters in a day. So pretty nice. But we're not, not quite there yet. Still gotta get to that last summit and then uh, gotta ski down to a hotel again. A super nice day, it inks 10, epic mountain, and now I'm just gonna put on my skis. And then we're gonna ski back to the bottom and uh, get back to the hotel. Just another insane day. It's like, it's the day that just keeps on giving. It's insane. At least two 2,000 meter peaks. Ski touring, scrambling, skiing, up and down, boot packing. Yeah, just, uh, just epic, super epic day. 2,000 uh, meter of elevation gain, almost. I think it was 150 short or something, but um, yeah, mega day. This was the fourth day in a row of skiing. My plan was to go back home today, but I mean, it's supposed to be sun tomorrow as well, so might as well stay another day, then squeeze in uh, another tour tomorrow, and then um, probably gonna be back to Oslo. Super nice hanging out with uh, Ingrid as well. Uh, she was a bit stressed this morning that we would be too late to ski down the south face after a scrambling section. So she, she was really pushing up to the first mountain and basically just left me behind. But I just did my own pace. I knew that didn't matter, to be honest. Like, you could ski there pretty much all day long. And once she figured that out, then we managed to communicate a little bit better. And uh, yeah, the rest of the day has been super nice with her. So it's fun to meet new people like that. And um, cool to see people who are eager to be in the mountains and hang out. So absolutely fun, for sure. So that's it for today. It's been mega, can't express it enough. But now it's time for me to get some food and relax because I'm pretty tired. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.